Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you for being with me again today. There are two reasons why I picked the article that I'm going to discuss in this video. One is informational and the other one is uh, hypocritical, <clears throat> uh, which means to point out how hypocritical um, the article actually is and uh, not only the author but um, the authorities who uh, stand behind the, the claims. So let's go and jump into this uh, entirely. This article comes from uh, the new voice of Ukraine. Every time I see the new, I'm thinking of the New York, but the New York Times, the new voice of Ukraine uh, from June 7th, 2022. Moscow is forcing Kherson schools to switch to Russian curriculum. Russian occupation uh, authorities in Ukraine's occupied southern city of Kherson are demanding that schools in the city change their curriculum to be in line with Russian ones, Ukraine's ministry, military intelligence directorate reported in a telegram post on June 7th. According to the report, the demand was made at a meeting with headmasters of the city schools out of 60 headmasters present only to exceed it. And I, I am uh, quoting, they were instructed to gather their teachers and force them to register in compliance with Russian law, signing new contracts with the occupation administration, end quote, the uh, message reads, reads. Earlier, Russian occupation authorities have been reporting as burning Ukrainian language textbooks and classroom materials. The deliberate destruction of cultural works is recognized as a sign of genocide in international law. Remember, the deliberate destruction of cultural works is recognized as a sign of genocide. So if you destroy the cultural works, is a gen it's part of the genocide, destroying nation's uh, uh, culture. But it has to be uh, also correlated and uh, in, in tandem with uh, killing the nation and wiping it and all that. Now, let's talk about the first part of this article. The first part is, uh, the fact is, Russia took over those provinces, so they will be incorporated into Russia. So it's only normal. Normal. That's how it is in in uh, in Europe. Not and at least uh, I know that in Romania, and I know that the style. Not like United States, for instance, where uh, certain uh, how do you call it um, um, school districts have different uh, curriculum and so on. It's not like that. They have basic stuff in mathematics. But or chemistry, but when it's about history and you know social science, uh, it's very flexible. In Europe, <coughs> at least in Romania, I can tell you that um, they have um, the um, they have the. Um, sorry, I had to interrupt for a second. They have the the same curriculum, very little variations in the curriculum. So it's only normal what the Russians are doing regarding replacing it. Now, regarding burning uh, those stuff, I don't know the details to... to uh, I'm not going to defend anybody. I'm pretty sure in the occupied territories, if you want to call them that way, or liberated territories, there are Ukrainians, not only Russians speaking. So their rights, their, cultural, uh, their culture has to be respected. And uh, I do not have too much doubt that it, it will not. And I tell you why because uh, Russia is not made only of Russians. There are many other nationalities and they try to respect all this and they call themselves multicultural, if you can believe that. The, CI, uh, the CIS, it's a multicultural, uh, you know, uh, uh, the Federal Russian Federation. So <clears throat> I'm, I'm not sure that uh, they will not uh, respect their uh, cultural and so on, but I can't say anything how the things will be. I'm just uh, analyzing 
how I analyze it. Obviously, it's subjective if you want to look at it. It's subjective based on the knowledge I have, direct knowledge, direct experience, and obviously life experience, books, lectures, speaking with people, and listening to people. <clears throat> okay, so that was the first part. Burning books and all that, uh, maybe they're obsolete, who the, whatever is in those books, but nevertheless, I'm pretty sure that the, the, the Ukrainians will have their schools in Ukrainian, and if not, that's not good. That's obviously not, their rights are not respected. But I suspect that it was going to be okay with that. <clears throat> obviously, the the term uh, they burn the books uh, that wants to uh, send the message that we already have it in our brains since we're kids that only one country, only one nation, only one system burned books in this history, and that was 1930s the German. Uh, leadership <clears throat> that's how the story goes i'm not going to go into that because it's uh more to the story than the ones that we were told and uh, you can dig uh into it you have maybe two or three clicks away to find more and you will be surprised uh, also the soviets <clears throat> the leaders of the soviets uh, uh soviet union and uh, communist systems they were led by a certain group of people including romania at the beginning they were not romanians who were the leaders of romania after 1946 <clears throat> when they came with the soviet uh, armies there were people uh, foreign of uh, romania and the same was in hungary and the same was in uh, soviet union they burned books as well and they burned books that was genocide. Now, going to the last part that brought me to the genocide, genocidal part. About a month ago, I know that it was an article, more than one article, but I, the one that I view and I, I wanted, I think, I don't I can remember if I made a video or not, but it was talking about uh, the president of Ukraine, Zelensky. He uh, um, issued a decree that the Russian author's books will be taken out of the curriculum of Ukraine and uh, <clears throat> they will not be available, I think, even in um, bookstores, but some of them will be available in libraries, but not in the schools, they will take taken off. How would you call that? Would that qualify as genocide? Because in Ukraine, there was a big population of Russian-speaking people, and still is, even after these uh, regions in the eastern Ukraine will be attached to Russia. There will still be Russians in Ukraine. There will be, like Romanians are in Ukraine, Romanians are in Russia, Romanians are in Hungary, Romanians are in uh, uh, Serbia, uh, Romanians are in Bulgaria. So you see? But the same, uh, Hungarians are in Romania and they have schools in Hungarian. So, <clears throat> was that genocide too, the decree of Zelensky, or no? I know details can, you know, and interpretations, but nevertheless, they took the Russian books out, the authors, from the curriculum, from the schools. So, that means the Russian-speaking population, which is Russians, genetically, let's put it this way, my bad, uh, they will not be able to take it unless they go to the library. Is that the way it should be? Nevertheless, so that's the hypocritical side of this, uh, you know, um, concern and genocidal uh, trends <clears throat> mentioned in this article. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.